All right, Shalom. I like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching His word and sincerity and truth. All right, I'm the brother Ties of War. Back at you again with another lesson. And uh, Lord's willing, I pray this lesson to be edifying to those of the whole four elect. All right, and um, you know, as your brothers should know, uh, you know the famous rapper uh, Nipsey Nip Nip Nipsey Hustle from uh, L.A. You know he got shot six times, one in the head, and you know, <laughs> you know, it's like some senseless murder shit from some kid, some shit going viral, where he basically. Um, Admitted to you know how he took him out bragging clout chasing or whatever But then then it's a conspiracy thing Which is happening because they were saying that Nip was about to come out with a documentary Talking about the case that Dr. Sebi which we say, you know, you know, Dr. Sebi was um, Actually, uh, he had before he passed and then he mysteriously died and we all know about Dr. Sebi, you know, and um how he cured people, you know, us brothers, you know, how about you, I was shy. We know that the Lord created physicians, all right? He, he created physicians in the earth. You know, he's not the only one, you know, he's just maybe the only one that's maybe known amongst a lot of people in the world because of his work, which was the Lord's work, you know, all right? Not saying that he was in the truth, but he was a physician coming back in his life, just like the prophets, they come back in their lot. All right, um, these devils, they come back in their lot. Um, two thirds of our people, the third and fourth generation that hate the Lord, you know, the ones that hate the most high, they come back in their lot, that generation, you know. Um, everything is reincarnated, man. Um, but anyway, uh, I was watching this video here with Mason, uh, the rapper and shit. Uh, now he turned you know, his life over. Uh, speaking some truth while well, trying to work for the community trying to better the hood and all that shit But uh, he started venting a little bit, you know, you know, you watch these interviews They be saying some good things But but at the end of the day and I hope I hope you see this All of you guys you niggas man. All right in the streets Hoping that you're going better the community You know, um, you know, Jake, you know, Mason was hitting some points you know, he was just saying, like, these young niggas, man, the young, dumbass niggas willing to do anything for clout, man. You know, willing eh, he, to sell their soul for enough. You know, and he was complaining about, like, yo, we the, it's nobody, it's really, that's it, it's a few men left. Well, real ones, you know. Men ain't willing to sell their soul, men that's willing to stand up, speak truth, as far as their truth. But he made one thing that why I made this video, he said one thing is that he said, you know, your enemy is smart, you know, and, you know, when we going to, you know, come together and fight against them, basically. And that's crazy that he, that he said this. I, I'm, I'm kind of, I ain't saying word for word. But I'm going to play the video, Lord willing, and uh, you hear it for yourself. But it's funny that he say this, but this with the prophets, all of, all of you niggas, all right, you rap niggas. You street niggas, you know, the prophets of the Lord, the truth, the answer, the way, all right, of coming out of this madness and being under these devils, all right, which is Esau, is by the way of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And we've been telling you this for years, and I'm going to say my apostles, man, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone been out there for years, and this truth has done you know, like a wildfire throughout the earth. And we out there telling you that, look, this enemy is killing you niggas, man. Okay? He killing you, Jakes. You so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, Native, and Seminole Indians. You are the Israelites, man. And this devil was killing you, man. He been killing you. So now all of a sudden, you know, okay, eyes are being opened now. You know, the scriptures say, who shall rouse him up? They done killed Nip, man. <laughs> you know? One one of the last, you know, uh, I'll say uh, conscious, uh, uh, makes sense, you know? Not that stupid, retarded shit, but he, hey, they took him out. 
you know, and it could be because he was going to do something on Dr. Sebi or whatever the case is or whatever, you know, could have been the boule. It could have been uh, those bougie uh, house niggas that's in the industry with money that band together and they make sure that no niggas that ain't willing to sacrifice and sell their soul come up before them, man. They take them out, too, you know, because Esau, yeah, Esau loves to uh, take a nation which is called conquer and divide. He, he he have he have your people kill you, you know. While he sit back and say, you know, he have done nothing, man. All right, like he's innocent, you know. And that's why Yahweh Bashmiel Shai is gonna take you devils out of power real soon, cause your day is coming. You know, you're gonna be taken into the devices that you have imagined. But we've been telling you niggas, man. All right, that this so-called white man is your enemy, man. But you don't want to see it. Oh no. Hey, you know, it's not a it's not a racial thing. We gotta love each other and shit. It be niggas saying that shit too. The hardest nigga in the street. Cook crack coke selling ass niggas saying, oh, we can't be racist, blood. We killing ourselves. We gotta work on ourselves. You dumbass niggas. <laughs> and, and like Mason said in the video, man, that what? Man, it's it's so bad that Esau, he can fake it as if it it was um it was some senseless murder from niggas just being niggas in the street, man. When that was probably a hit or order orchestrated, man. Pay the nigga some money to throw his life away, man. You know, or told him they'll protect him if he do this senseless murder and take him out. Of course, they had his face. Of course, he get killed by his own people. Because also, too, the Lord put there in Deuteronomy 28, the curses is upon us, man. You know, but you niggas... You know, you're never going to wake up because guess what? Esau has control over you two-thirds, man. You know, only elect is going to come about and get in a, and get a fall under the protection of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You niggas not safe, man. You know, your favorite rapper's getting killed. But uh, I'm going to play this video and Lord willing, get some scriptures. Lord willing. I'm going to play it from the beginning and I'll charm in. There's only a few good niggas left out here, man. There's only a few niggas out here that's doing something that's representing the culture, right? Oh, man. Man, we gotta pray for Nip, man. There's only a few niggas that you look at and you see and you reflect and you see that this nigga's authentic, man. There's only a few authentic niggas left out here, man. We getting rid of the good ones, man. She whack, man. Praying for him, man. See, I, I understand what he's saying. You know, stand up guys, guys that's real. Ain't about, you know, uh selling their souls and things of that nature. But guess what? That's not that's not gonna cut it, my man. Alright? We're coming in these time we're in these times where Esau is gonna show his horns, man. And Esau is getting sloppy, man. All over the board. All over the whole board, man. Alright? He's getting sloppy because why? The Lord is revealing who the who the uh, wickedness uh, who the who are the sons of the wicked are, man. All right, the mystery of iniquity, which the scriptures say do have already worked. Okay, which is these Edomites, man. They're being they be their, their shame is coming up, man. They've been exposed, okay, and they're getting sloppy. Before they had things covered up. But guess what? The look like the scriptures say, they shall be taken into the vice that they have imagined. Because everybody have cameras now. You know? Everything is getting recorded. Soon as somebody die, somebody recorded it. Somebody. You know, like that woman out there in Austin. Uh, she got beat up by the by the Edomite. Right? You know, he pulled out his gun. But here it is. It looked like they was out there by themselves. I'm pretty sure that Edomite probably thought nobody was watching. You know, he had like a window to really beat the ass up. But then right across the street, somebody else was filming the shit. You know, <laughs> so it's like, hey, you being exposed on all levels, man. And Esau sloppy across the board, man. 
You know, but, but the prophet's been telling you niggas for years, man. And that's why we say it's death and destruction to the two thirds, according to the scriptures. All right. Matter of fact, let me get a quick scripture. Get a quick scripture real quick. Uh, let's go here. This is um, Zechariah 13 and 8. It says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And that's talking about that number, all right, of Israel. Talking about you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanic, and Native Seminole Indians. All right, you are the Israelites, whether you believe it or not. You can follow whatever philosophy you want. You can follow whatever religion. You're an Israelite, though. You can't take that away. If you was born an Israelite of those those nations, those tribes, all right, from the seed of your father, you are an Israelite. Okay. So it says, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Talking about two thirds. And the third shall be left therein, which is the elect, okay? The one third. Verse nine, and I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined, all right? Because why? The Lord, that's twofold. The Lord is bringing us through the fire now because we're acknowledging who he is, all right? Giving our bodies as a living sacrifice, repenting, putting away the old man. And now what? When you do that, you're gonna have to fight a spiritual war, man. Not to do the things of the world, all right? The world, the Lord said, he that loveth the world uh, uh, cannot, uh, the, the, it's, it's enmity with the most high, you know? So you're going to be tried. You're going to have to fight spiritually, man, you know? You're going to suffer. You know, life going to seem like, hey, it's played out because you ain't in the streets. The streets and the world look at you and demonize you, man, you know, because you holding yourself with standards of, of uh, principles uh, and, and laws that you you obey by which which the world ain't the, the world of Israel, you you niggas, all right, y'all not willing to do. Cause you choose not to. It says, and I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined. All right? Because that really that ultimate fire, which coming here to Babylon the Great, America, is thermonuclear fire, man. World War Three is gonna happen, man. Okay? You know, this little senseless murder that happened to uh Nipsey Hussle. It's going to be on the larger scale soon, man. When they declare martial law, man. When it's sedition among men. When it's a famine of food and water. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't. Y'all think this this industry shit and these niggas out here trying to uh, help build themselves and establish themselves in this place, Babylon. The scriptures say take balm for her pain if she could be healed. But she can't. All right. This place is on its way out, man. And it's the wrong time. That's why anybody could get rich nowadays. Why is it so easy for anybody to get rich? Because rich, because everything is cheap, man. You know? It's no more talent that's getting you into the uh in a better yourself in this world. It's just if if you know somebody, man. Alright, and you're willing to sell your soul and do what the devil say. They already destroyed hip hop. Remember the season where they were saying hip hop is dead, hip hop is dead? Yeah, because them crackers took, took control of it, man. You know? They done got a lot of a lot of uh Young niggas to do whatever, you know, be be Satan worshippers, all right, and sell their soul for nothing, man. Ain't no more dignity in these little dumbass niggas, man. Niggas are retarded, man. The younger they are, the, the worse they are, man. It ain't gotten worse, man, over the generations. This is that generation that hate the Lord in the earth, man. The same ones that was in the wilderness, man, all right, coming against Moses, man. Same ones that even when the Lord showed them his miracles with the chariots, they, they even wanted to go back to Egypt after the Lord delivered them from Egypt, man. These are them same niggas, man. Wild animals, man. This shit. They was rebellious against the most high. So you think that they're gonna uh they're gonna they're gonna buckle up and 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 listen to, to y'all y'all niggas? Niggas that been in the game for a minute and all that, you think they gonna do that? You new young niggas don't respect no niggas. They only respect the most high. They only respect themselves, man. That's why the scriptures say folly is set in great dignity, man. Look at social media, man. You got all these um niggas doing retarded ass shit for the likes, for the gram. 
You know, this nigga, the nigga that supposedly claimed that he killed Nipsey, he riding in a car bragging about it on Instagram. And his homeboy like, yo, yo, don't play around like that. Who You ain't killed Nipsey. Who gonna really, you know, come out like that and just tell on themselves like, you bugging. He like, I don't care. I know the cops gonna lock me up. Like, come on, man. That shit ain't real. <laughs> but it is. It says, uh, Zachariah 13 and 9, and I will bring the third part through the fire, and I will refine them as silver is refined. All right? Because the Lord's going to try the elect. He's going to purify them. All right? So that what? They don't get they don't get judged the way you niggas going to be judged for not hearkening to the Lord, man. Really, that, you know, for what you've done in your past and what you're doing in this life, man. You ain't got to believe these, uh, this word, but I'm, but you're going to know that there was prophets among you, man. The prophets been out teaching this word, telling you that the Lord is going, the Lord is going to get you niggas, man. All right. That these devils are your enemies, man. And Cause that's who the Lord is using. He's using the whooping stick, man. So it says, um, and we'll try them as gold is tried. They, they, it says they shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord is my power. Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. And that's to the elect. You guys not calling on the name of the Lord. You despising the prophet. You the same niggas, the same street niggas that have walked past the camp with the, with, the, with the men of the Lord teaching the truth and you'll scoff. You ain't like the way he talked about the black woman. But the black woman doing you all sorts of dirty. Oh, she the queen. Ain't no fucking queen. Bitch is a pit bull. What are you talking about? Esau's pit bull, man. When a bitch put you on child support, fuck you all up, kill your world, you still out there fighting for it, man. Some These black ass women, yeah, I'm gonna say it just like that, man. These, 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 these void ass women. These ugly ass creatures. And I ain't saying all. Oh, I'm talking about the wicked ones. The evil ones, man. All right? Which is majority of all these women in America. Because they all messed up in the head, man. You know? Whenever they get judgment, all of a sudden you feeling sorry for them, man. You're the same niggas, man. That's why the Lord, it's why the Lord, when he's told Jeremiah not to cry for these people. He was talking about the ones the most high ain't, ain't feeling, man. Don't cry for them. Ain't no crying for you senseless niggas, man. You know? Yeah, they took one of the, you know, you know, the best out of the, the worst, you know, as far as this age in 2019, when it comes to the rap shit, you know, well-respected rapper, you know, cool dude, you know, made some good music as far as better than the, the rest of the world, you know, seemed like a loyal type of real dude. Esau got him the hell up out of there. Well, I'm gonna say the Lord got him up out of there, man. Because why? Things are going to get worse, man. It's going to get worse, man. Everything is going to be out of control. You know, you're not going to see things of the norm and expect things to go in a flowing cycle. No, the Most High is disrupting the course. He's throwing a rock within the river, man, and changing the course. Because why? We're coming into some calamity times, man. You know, and Esau is going to show his horns, man. He's, his scriptures say he's going to come down having great wrath. Uh, uh, knowing that he had but a, sh uh, a short time All right I know I'm pretty long on things But uh, this is the spirit So I'm going to play more of the video Niggas don't even get it man We taking our own kings man We taking our own kings We taking, we getting rid of all of the soldiers The niggas that's really trying to do something man that man, was, that man is. That man was showing you how to boss up, man. How to how to evolve from the streets, man. That man out here doing shit, exposing real shit, putting you up on game, man. And this is how y'all niggas would pay a nigga like that from your own. See, and it shows that you're you're missing the bigger picture. You know, a lot of you. Hey, the, the point is, you know. Woo. Wow, that was a strong win. That is how I me. I was shy. It's a lot here. But uh, it just proves that, you know, you niggas are missing the picture, man. The bigger picture, man. You know? You guys are trying to build and trying to establish. You're trying to do what they, what our people already done. And it's not going to work. 
This is why the scriptures say the Lord has set the apostles last. Because what your what what your mindset is a yo, we gotta build, we gotta be for the community. It's not going to work, man. I know the scripture in Malachi it refers to Esau. But in this case, it refers to you niggas. The Lord, you shall build, but the Lord said, I shall throw down. And that was really pointed toward Esau. But in this case, this is for you niggas, man. You, have, you don't understand the bigger picture, man. You guys despise the truth. You don't really think it's a solution because you can't see it. But you're going to start seeing it when the prophecies are being fulfilled, which has been prophesied years after years, man. You know, starting with our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, man. All right. And uh, their elders, you know. Come on, man. This how we, this how we treat our own? A few niggas that's really out here left, this is what y'all gonna do to them? Come on, man. Nip is a good one, man. It ain't a lot of good ones, man. Nip is a good one, man. Praying for him, man. This ain't too many niggas when you meet them, you feel genuine energy. You feel genuine, realistic energy, man. No bullshit, just genuine, a genuine dude, man. Ain't too many of those left, man. Y'all gonna get rid of all of us, man. That's the plan. We gonna they gonna they gonna they gonna they gonna make help us take our own up. That's what we gonna do, man. That's what we gonna do. That's what Esau been doing. Divide and conquer, man. Alright? He get one of your he get he, he take one of those of your people that's willing to sell out, sell you out, and then have them come against you and do things, man. So that what? At the end of the day, he gets the W, man. Anything that seemed like a threat to his society, man. You know, sooner or later, you guys going to start taking that chip, which is the RFID microchip, man. Okay? Which is the Bible calls the mark of the beast. That's still in the play, man. Don't think that, you know, you guys, you might, it's going to be, it, see, because niggas don't, don't see nothing, man. So when they come out and you start taking it, swallowing and gobbling it down, it's going to be new to you. But here it is. The Lord had the prophet speaking of it already telling you not to take the chip man that's the mark of the beast and if you don't go you don't get down with it and that you don't get down with society and esau's he gonna take you out man esau been doing that man and this was a video i guess it was done right when he heard some news i don't think it was pronounced yet because social media when it came out, social media, you know, uh, uh, just you can't go off of every one, two video. You had to wait a little bit to see if the news cover it and actually see if it was an official, you know. So this was like still hopes in the air. But he was going, man. He was going, you know. And this is spiritual, too, because uh, just quick testimony. Um, yesterday, I know the brothers, uh, you know, I know y'all brothers, the brothers I was talking to. They knew before me, but they ain't make mention. I didn't see it. Well, if you did, Salaki, I didn't see it. But what happened was um, somebody had showed me a video of Nipsey yesterday. And I was just like, yeah, yeah, regular rapper, because they didn't know who he was. And so happened, we, you know, you know, the no, no, seeing that he had got shot wasn't even circling on YouTube yet. And uh, next thing you know, I'm going through YouTube feed and I see. Oh shit, Nipsey Hussle got shot. I'm like, yo, that's a spirit. I was just talking about this guy with somebody, you know? And I told the person, and it was like, I showed him, like, yo, he just got shot. He might be dead. And we both was like, what the hell? We were just talking about him. That's how you know how the spirit work, man. How the Lord allow uh, uh, for, for, uh, for us to get that information, man. You know, he linked, the angels be linking things up for you to be aware of what's going on, you know? That's all I could see it being spiritual, man. Because it was, we was just, I was just talking about this guy to someone because they had no clue of him and i was just like he's just a regular rapper you know favorite rapper or whatever but it wasn't because he was shot the next thing you know it was put on the circling through youtube he was shot that's why i was like yo that's your how about you i was shot man you know angels just refer uh, uh, uh spreading the news man he up in the spirit world now man you know
knit up in the spirit world speaking Hebrew, all right, next to the heavenly father and the son and asking when he going to get us up out of here. When he going to take out this devil, man, these Edomites, man. All right. We got to be better than this, man. We just got to be better than this. They're using us to take us out. us to take us out my niggas when we gonna wake up man we let gucci disrespect us we kill our own the police kill us when we gonna start smarting it up man we taking our own it ain't about smarting up it's about wising up and uh i got a scripture man you know because they asked well what, what 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 is it that we gotta do then all right well you know for those that are of the whole for elect and that's willing to repent you know if the Lord's will, uh, let me get this scripture, you know, because uh, no telling who may see this video, man. You know, maybe the, hey, his death could lead you to the truth. You know, um, this is Second Chronicles chapter 7 and 14. It says, if my people, because who are the Lord's people? The Israelites. All right. If my people, which are called by my name, what is that name? Yasha Allah. He prints power. Meaning that we're what? The princes of the power, man. Princes of the most high. So it says, if my people, and notice it's slinging, it's not talking about the world. It's talking about a particular people, man. This A particular seed from Abraham, Isaac, to Jacob, to the 12 tribes. So it says, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves. And what did you have to do? You have to humble yourself, man. You got to repent. All the shit you grew up in this world and you thought this was right, this and that, the most high has you, he have it to where you humble yourself and he open you up to the truth, man. And then you see what life is truly, what, uh, uh, what it's about, man. And what's your purpose, you know? Yahweh Shai said, he that loses his life for my sake shall, uh, shall save his life. Roughly paraphrasing, man. All right? So it says, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble himself, humble themselves, and pray. That's another thing. You niggas ain't praying. You niggas is missile food, man. Now, I ain't, I ain't doing this show, uh, you know, no, uh, in, in my heart thinking that, you know, you niggas going to wake up. I know you're going to stay asleep. But this is for the hopeful elect out there that will hear these words. Whoever the Lord allowed to hear and wake up, you know, because this is the Lord's movie. You know, he, he, he deems who the elect, man. You know, the first fruit. Okay. He, he's waking them up, man. And soon you guys going to really see that, man, on a larger scale. You know, when it hits your uh, mainstream media and, and, and senseless murders besides this against Nick. You know, when other people out here are struggling for food, when you got to survive, then you're going to start, oh, where the prophets at? Or what was they saying again? What was the Lord's name? You know, then it's too late, man. It says, shall humble themselves and pray. You're supposed to be praying. A way of humbling yourself is praying. You know, you're begging. Your, your supplications meaning you're begging the Lord, man. It says, and seek my face. What is the face? The face is the Bible, man. You know, but a lot of you are tore up with false philosophy. Oh, white man wrote the Bible. Oh, I ain't getting caught up in that shit. That's the religion. Nah, we not. Hey, this is our uh, actual uh, culture, man. The Bible is our book, okay? Israelites were inspired by the Most High. The prophets, all right? We had scribes that wrote these things down in Hebrew on scrolls, man. Okay, <laughs> but niggas so caught up in uh in Satan's lies, man, that you you can't believe nothing, man. You know you can't believe the truth, and that's the most I blind to you. It says, and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. You gotta turn from your wicked ways, niggas out here. You promote adultery, even though these niggas seem like they for the community or this and that. They still promoting adultery. You know, niggas still fuck another nigga girl. Niggas promoting uh, 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 drugs, you know? Niggas are still doing everything but following Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Following the truth. So you're still wicked, man. And turn from their wicked ways then, all right? Because it's the most high that put us in this uh, uh, condition, man. He the one that put us into slavery under these lawless creatures, man. These Edomites. It says, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Where's our land? It's Israel, man. 
He'll take those stinking rats out of our land, okay? And start healing it, man. Refreshing. But you guys ain't trying to hear that. Let's go back to the video. They kill us, we kill us, we just dying, man. Wiped out, man. Uh, I got a quick precept and I'm gonna wrap this thing up. Uh, this is Proverbs chapter 1. And um, let's see. Yep, verse 20. It says, Wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. Now he's talking about smarting up. Well, you need to be wising up, man. Because why? Wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. And how she order, how is wisdom. Uh, um, uh, utter if, uh, uh, her voice in the streets. How? Through the prophets, man. Out there on the on the streets, man. All right. Teaching his truth right before your eyes, but you overlook them. All right. You're like they ain't nothing. You know, these guys or they're coat. You know, or this and that. But you're gonna see. She cried in the chief place of concourse in the openings of the gates. In the city, she uttered her words, saying, "How long?" Let me say that again. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. All right? Verse 23. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Because if you repent and humble yourself, as I read in 2 Chronicles 7 and 14, you know, if you humble yourself and pray, seek the Lord's face, then what? The Lord will what? He will pour out his spirit unto you and make known his words unto you. All right? So you can understand the truth. You will see this devil for what he is. You're not afraid to call him an Edomite because that's what his biblically name is. All right? This is a spiritual war. You know, niggas are worried about finances well yeah that's you, of course you have to worry about finance but you niggas are worried about building here man when you should be having this time to repent and come back to the lord man that's the most important thing you know can't nobody save you but the most high and his son you know no man can save you man no money is going to be a defense unto you man turn you at my reproof which is turn you at the lord's correction Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. All right? Because I have called 
and ye refuse. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. And that's what the Lord do with the prophets, man. Okay? Out there teaching the word. He's calling you, speaking to you. You walk past those camps. You hear those brothers speaking. You hear what we're talking about. You enter, you, you want to know what is exactly our mission or or, or, or what's, what's the end goal? You want to know what we're talking about? It's the Lord, man. But you refuse. He stretched out his hand, but no man regarded, man. All right? Because you're not considering, man. Oh, nah, there ain't nothing I can do. Nah, I can't. Ah, nah, man. Nah, I can't do that. Nah, man. You know? But I hear you. Black power. <laughs> you know? Niggas are crazy. We ain't representing black power. For one, you got to take that stigma off you, man. That's a byword, man. Running around here calling yourself black. You're degrading yourself, man. We're not void. We're different shades of brown, man. We're Israelites. We're princes, man. Okay? And I'm talking to the men of the so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanic, and Native Samuel Indians. We are prince. Princes, man. Of the Lord, man. This is our world, man. It says... Because I have called him, and ye refuse and stretched out my hand and no man regard it. But ye have set at north all my counsel and, when, and, and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear come. You see? So when calamity comes and now all of a sudden it's getting too uh, uh, overwhelming. It's getting too much to be. It's, it's not making sense. The circle of life is not going according to the circle. Things are changing. We're not banding together. We separated. We're divided. The Lord is laughing at your calamity, man, that he brought upon you. All right. If he moved Esau like a pawn, like a puppet, it's because he did it, man. He said, I will mock when your fear come. All right. When your fear cometh as desolation. And your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish cometh upon you, man. You're losing a loved one, man. Someone close. Someone dear. Dear friend. Anguish, man. When, when, when you're biting down on your teeth and you, ah, uh, you know, sighing and crying, man. You know, looking for answers. Looking for hope. What's the first thing you do? God. What's the, uh, what's the nigga, uh, uh, Ha Ha Davis? God <laughs> You know that's The first thing you're going to do You're going to call God man But he ain't going to answer man You know And we've been telling you this man Because you niggas deserve punishment man Niggas are wicked You're not willing to uh, come back You're trying to rot. You're trying to build upon black people When you should be building upon Who you truly are as a people Which was given to you by the Lord As Israelites Real harmony man Bringing You know The Lord is going to gather us together man you know, you should be working on that while the time is at hand, man. All right. Um, it says, uh, I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear come. And when, I mean, when your fear come as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. You see? So it boils down to the fact that you don't fear the Lord, man. All right? You fear this nigga over there with that gun. You fear your homeboys and how you going to look. You, you you know, these black women, you fear how, you know, these women going to disown you because you're not hit or whatever, whatever, man. But you don't fear your how about shimmy how shy. You don't fear the Lord. But you would say, yeah, uh, you know, God knows my heart. Uh, I only fear no man but God. No, you don't, because you're not living according to God. All right? And if you are living according to uh, some type of entity, it's not the true and living power. It's really of what you, what you perceive to have, well, what you believe to have uh, comfortable in your life. You know, uh, Jake is picky and choosy. Jake is uh, uh, rebellious as hell, man. All right? They'll take the scriptures and, and, and say, yeah, that's good. I'll take that. Oh, but nah, I can't do that. I can't put away my pork. Can't stop eating crab, shrimp, and lobster. Nah, uh-uh. I mean, why do the God make these creatures so we well, so we can eat them? You know, it's just all senseless, retarded uh, thoughts that come through their head, man. 
It does, you know? But um, for they hate knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They were none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof, which is you despise all the Lord's correction, man. This video here, you're despising this video. Probably give me a thumbs down. Oh, what he talking about? You don't know what you talking about. Nobody want me a part of that. <laughs> I don't care if you do or not. I'm just spreading forth a message, man. You know, don't matter who you are. You know, you're not too big for the Lord, man. All right. You a celebrity. Guess what, man? I said this yesterday to somebody when they found out that Nip died. Guess what? Nipsey Hussle may seem some big figure to you, but he ain't no big figure when he get up to the get up there to the spirit world. All right. He's just another spirit, man. Because really, the ones that do have some type of um uh 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 um let me say more light, more light and more more uh, exposure is the Lord's elect, man. He's just a regular citizen, man. All right. Now he's amongst Yahweh. He's amongst Yahweh Shah, the angels. You know, and the rest of the uh, celestial uh, angels out there, up there in the fourth dimension, other Israelites that died, you know, that's up there waiting, you know, for Yahweh Shah to return back to the earth and gather to Israel so that we could rule the earth again, you know. But he's just a regular spirit, man. You know, he may be famous down here on earth, but he ain't famous up there in the heavens, man. And if he was, he, he would have been one of the Lord's elect. You know, he would have been doing something for the Lord, man. And to clearly see his work on this earth, it wasn't nothing for the Lord. It was just more of him getting getting himself together. And then he, one of the ones that had a heart of looking out and trying to get others on to build in this world. But the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi al Shai, is about destroying this world, man. This is the fashion that's going to pass away. We're living in a world of Esau. We're not living in our kingdom, man. This place about to go. All right. It says, they were none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore, shall they eat the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them. See? <laughs> For the turning away of the simple shall slay them. And prosperity of fools shall destroy them. Whew. Verse 33. But whoso hearken unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil so you know i ain't gonna play no more it's pretty long i was watching this video with my son uh, i just wanted to charm in he made some good points but you know you're not listening to the prophets y'all ignoring us but that's to your your downfall man and maybe that's the hey that's the lord the lord's uh way because two-thirds is going to be is going to be sleep two-thirds is going to be put to death man and that's two-thirds of you Israelites. You're an Israelite, man. All right? You know, so I hope this lesson was edifying to those that are of the whole four elect. You know, scriptures say that he are in trouble, rest with us. All right? So hopefully you was edified, meaning edified means to build, you know, hopefully the spirit of the Lord to wake you up, which is those of the elect out there, man, through the four corners. So, you know, with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because no, there's only one, sal one savior, and that's Yahweh Shai. His name is not Jesus Christ, man. All right. Deuteronomy 28 and 68 said, no man shall buy you, meaning no man shall save you. All right. I could go into Baruch, the fourth chapter, and explain why we in this captivity, man. You know? And who's the one that's going to get us out of this captivity, out of this condition, out of this pit? You know, look at these children today, man. They Their, their, their brains is fried, man. These little niggas out here, they gay, they homosexuals, they sodomites. All right, they reckless, they senseless murders. It just don't. It's ha, it has no no sense to it. It has no sense to it no more. The music is waxing low, as the scriptures say. The music is senseless. It's, 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 it has no meaning, no value, no 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 nothing. It's it's garbage. All right, and the Most High is doing this because why? The Lord is about to establish righteousness in the earth, man. You know, all that wicked shit is out the door, man. All right. And Esau, which is the uh, son of the wicked. OK. Which which you need to go back and read Jacob and Esau's story to get understanding who the hell Esau is and why he does what he do. Most of these Jake's niggas is gangsters. Niggas is robbers. N niggas uh, be ready to um, uh, talk shit and go to war with us with over words. 
But here it is, you afraid to call this devil, this Edomite a damn devil as he is. And you know he a devil. You know he killing your people. But none of you want to stand up because you're not stand-up guys, man. You can't stand up to the fact to repent to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, then the Lord is going to wax that ass, man. Because ain't none of you, all of you guys are proud, man. You're proud as hell, man. And this is just the time that we're seeing and even more, hey, shit, that's scary, man. You know, because that you could be here today and tomorrow you out of there, man. You know, and that's why we fear the Lord. Paul said, uh, we pers uh, we fear the Lord. Uh, uh, um, we know the terror of the Lord. We so we persuade men. All right, and this is why this video is up because you know I I, I witness and understand the terror of the Lord through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shimei Shai, and so I'm persuading the men of the Lord out there to uh, understand that man to fear the Lord. You know? So, with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hope for elect. Shalom.